Enzo Kane, a big part of that, as it has been the guy on deck. 2 1 pitch, and he stings it. It goes past Dozier on a base hit to right center field. Kane's thinking two all the way at least. He's going to take the turn at third. Here comes the relay, not in time, and it gets through and it goes into the dugout. And Lorenzo Kane will come all the way around, and just like that, it's a 1 0 lead for the crew. Well, just like Little League, keep running until they throw you out, right? Ball ends up in the dugout. Well, Lorenzo Kane just stings one into the gap in right center. That's a good way to start out the night. Fastball from Hill. He's only thrown about 91 92 these days. I mean, cruising speed about 90. Well, you see how that ball scoots on the grass. It is hard out there and all the way to the wall. Lorenzo able to get into third base with the triple. The throw goes into the dugout. That'll be an error on uh, Brian Dozier right away. Well, Lorenzo Kane. Here's the Brewers the lead right away here tonight. Yes, it's E4 for Brian Dozier, and that is how his life as a Dodger <laughs> begins. A gold glover last year, though. Don't let that fool you. He's a big addition. At least the Dodgers believe he will be to this ball club. Yeah, certainly a throw that he would figure that Machado should be able to at least knock down a little bit. Kind of feeling for that pitch away as that one gets away from Grandal. And he still can't find it. Kane's still running, and he's coming home. He's in, and it's two to nothing, Milwaukee. Grandal had no idea where the ball was, and Lorenzo Kane heads up, motored around third. Never slowed down. He realized that Grandal couldn't find it. That happened to Grandal last night on a strikeout. Couldn't find a ball in the dirt, and for some reason he doesn't look at his pitcher, Lorenzo Kane. Scores standing up.